going? Yep. We don't need no stinking engine stand! Always nice when you pull an engine out of a car and immediately it starts leaking from everywhere, so you have to pull it right back out. And of course, it's a Subaru. Just put this engine in, and now we had to pull it out, do rear main, front main, uh, water pump gasket, and oil pan gasket. Just clean some sand out of the oil pan. I don't know what that shit was all about, but it was full of what looked like piston sand. But, uh, yep. She's almost done and about ready to go back together and go back in the car. Hopefully we'll have it out of the car running, replace those seals, put it back in the car and have it running all in the same night. So that's the goal. Step one. <laughs> on this crank pulley so yeah we're gonna have to move that back a little bit <laughs> fun times <laughs> freaking 1.2 liter three-cylinder piece of shite hey now <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you can get that here oh that's as far back as i can get it That's gonna have to come to me. Horrendous night where everything that could possibly go wrong did with the fucking Subaru. Two guys who are used to working on way more complicated and powerful vehicles were made its bitch this evening. And we have now finally got the engine in and basically all back together. And here in 20 or 30 minutes, probably we should be ready to fire it up. And if it doesn't run right, we are going to split the cost of pushing it off with a fucking clip. Well, Looks like we're about to do first start. She's all done. Ah! Hold on, motherfucker. Attempted starting number two. 